My name is Teresa Mills. I work for the Center for Health and Environment and Justice, and also I am a consultant with the Buckeye Forest Council, or I should say I'm their fracking coordinator. Um, ODNR has become a captured agency. That's an agency that very existence depends <coughs> on the industry it regulates. Um, ODNR receives their, the majority of their funding from the industry they regulate. Um, we need to change that. ODNR should not be dependent on the very industry they regulate. They need to be, uh, the industry needs to be regulated by an independent agency. Uh, not someone, not an agency that has all of a sudden become the oil and gas industry cheerleaders. Um, I received many phone calls from citizens. Teresa, I was following a brine truck down the road and the valve is open. What should I do? And of course I immediately say call the local fire department, call your lo local emergency planners, call ODNR, call Ohio EPA. And almost always, within a half an hour, the citizens re call me back and say, Teresa, they will not come and investigate for a week because they're at other well sites. Um, that is not sufficient for the state of Ohio. Um, last week, the citizens also sent a letter and this, we did not make this a big news deal, but we also sent a letter to Region 5 requesting a US EPA Region 5 tip hotline. I think we'll all remember on the Ben Lupo incident that it was reported that a tipster had been trying to get ODNR to look at the situation for at least a month. We feel that if Region 5 had had a hotline phone number, that possibly the tipster could have contacted that phone number and the dumping could have been caught and stopped months before it was. Um, that's probably all I have. If you have any questions, feel free.